Hey, we're going to be going on MLB The Show 22 and checking out the roster for every single MLB team in the game. Opening day is a few days away, so those will be really fun. We're going to see players like Trevor Story on the Red Sox, Correa on the Twins, Max Scherzer on the Mets, Freddie Freeman on the Dodgers. So many changes in the offseason. If you're excited for this one, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, but I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so hot. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. All right, so we are going to take a look at every single MLB team's roster in MLB The Show 22 going into opening day, which is only a few days away. And we will start things off with the Baltimore Orioles, and they are going to be headlined by 86 overall. Cedric Mullins, definitely their best player on the Baltimore Orioles. They do have Austin Hayes, John Means, and Ryan Mountcastle. That is an 80 overall. Trey Mancini, 78. Jorge Mateo, 77. Odor is a 77. Cole Sulzer is a 77. And we're not going to go through every single player on every single team probably the top 10 players about at every single team or else this video would just be too long and we do get to see Adley Rushman 24 years of age and a potential so that will do it for the Baltimore Orioles then we have the Boston Red Sox and Trevor Story is their highest overall player at a 94 overall Chris Sale 93 overall JD Martinez 87 Devers is 86 Eovaldi is 85 very surprised that JD is higher than Rafael Devers in overall and probably Xander as well Xander is very low only an 82 overall Verdugo is an 84, Barnes is an 83, Paxton's an 83, probably because Xander's defense is so bad, that's probably why he's an 82 overall, because the hitting stats are really, really good, but Devers only an 82, Christian Vasquez is going to be an 81 overall, and Garrett Whitlock is going to be an 81 overall. Then we're going to have the New York Yankees, we have Aaron Judge, 96 overall, Garrett Cole is going to be 92 overall, Joey Gallo will be 89, John Carlos Stanton is going to be an 87, and Donaldson's going to finish up the 85s at 85 overall. We have Chapman at an 82 and Chad Green at an 82 and DJ LeMay will be an 82 as well. Severino is going to be an 81 and then we have a few more 80 plus overalls for the Yankees. Then we move on to the Tampa Bay Rays and we have 90 overall Brandon Lau. They're only 90 overall on the squad but it doesn't matter. The Rays always play good in real life despite not having any real superstar players but maybe Wander Franco could become that superstar player this year. He's only an 81 overall. You could definitely see Wander though reaching that 86, 87 plus threshold this year in overall. We have we have a Rosa Reina at an 87 overall. We have Tyler Glasnow, even though he's not going to be playing. He will be an 87. Nick Anderson will be an 85. Zanino is going to be an 84. Kluber at an 83. Kiermaier an 82. Wanda Franco again at 81 overall. Kitridge and Meadows will be 81s. And then McClanahan and Ryan Yarbrough, I think that's how you pronounce the name, are going to finish up the 80 overalls for the Tampa Bay Rays. And this is a team I cannot wait to watch. Even as a Yankees fan in the AL East, the Blue Jays are going to be a dangerous step for the World Series this year. And Vlad Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 96 overall, might be a little too low for this guy. He is an absolute beast at the plate. I could easily see him becoming 97, 98, 99 overall in MLB The Show next year. Gaussman's going to be an 89, but Shet's going to be 87. A lot of 87s, actually, for the Blue Jays. Matt Chapman, Guriel, and Manoa all are going to be 87 overalls. Teoscar is going to be an 86. Jose Barrios, 85. Hinjin Rio, I always mispronounce his name, so in the comments down below, let me know if I mispronounce it or I got it right. Is going to be an 84, and George Springer is going to finish things up up at being an 83 overall. As we move on to the AL Central, Yasmani Grandal and Hendricks, they're going to be 93 for the Chicago White Sox. Luis Roberts going to be an 88. Abreu is going to be an 87. Same for Lance Lynn. Giolito, 84. Tim Anderson, 83. Michael Kopech, 81. Newly acquired AJ Pollock traded for Craig Kimbrell. This is a good pickup for the White Sox, in my opinion. But Crochet now is injured, so maybe not. We will have to see, but he would have been an 80 overall. And Lurie Garcia is going to be an 80 with Kendall Graveman at 79 overall. Cleveland Guardians, 290 pluses. We have Jose Ramirez, one of the best third basins in baseball, if not the best third baseman in baseball at a 94 overall. Shane Bieber, 92. Emmanuel Classe with that outlier cutter that's so dangerous in MLB The Show games. He's going to be an 85 overall. Aaron Savali is going to be an 82. Karnachak is going to be an 80. And Cal Quantrill is going to be an 80 overall for the Cleveland Guardians. For the Detroit Tigers, they have a decent amount of 80 pluses. We have Javier Baez, newly acquired in free agency, 87 overall. Jonathan Scope, an 83. Andrew Chaffin will be an 81 overall. Eduardo Rodriguez is going to be an 80 and we'll finish things off for the 80s with Spencer Turnbull being an 80 overall.
overall and Willie Casho will be a 79 overall for the Kansas City Royals we knew Salvi would be their best player 88 overall Zach Granke comes back to the Royals he's an 87 overall Mondesi is going to be an 84 Nicky Lopez is an 83 Benintendi is going to be a 79 Taylor is going to be a 79 and Whit Merrifield is going to be a 78 for the Royals now we have the twins who picked up Carlos Correa is he a little low in overall I would probably say so I could see Correa being an 89 overall plus especially if story is that high on the Boston Red Sox I feel like they cheated Correa a little bit on the overall Buxton's going to be a 91 though Taylor Rogers 86 Jorge Polanco really like him 85 overall big pickup for them and Sonny Gray 81 overall Gio Urshela coming from my Yankees 81 overall Tyler Duffy Kenton Maida they're going to be 79 and 78 respectively as we move on to the AL West last division in the American League Jose Altuve and Alvarez are going to be the 90 pluses for the Houston Astros Ryan Presley 89 Justin Verlander at 39 years of age is still an 88 overall Alex Bregman at an 86 overall Lance McCullers at 86 Kyle Tucker 85 Framber Valdez at 83 Luis Garcia at 82 and Yuri Gurriel at 82 then we move on to the Los Angeles Angels and we have Mike Trout and Shohei Otani 95 overall for Shohei Otani I can see him climbing the rankings even higher in overall this year Mike Trout obviously going to be a 99 overall 30 years of age Anthony Rendon if he can stay healthy for the full season that would be great for the Los Angeles Angels 86 overall Rizel is going to be an 85 Noah Syndergaard newly acquired going to be an 84 overall Jared Walsh at an 83 Ryan Tepera at an 82 Aaron Loops going to be absolutely disgusting coming out of the bullpen at 81 overall and Max Stassi at an 80 overall the Oakland Athletics, though, if you're an Athletics fan, I feel bad. They completely traded every good player you had, and I really don't know why. Matt Olsen's gone. Chapman's gone. Starling Marte, I think, left in free agency. I don't think he got traded, but a lot of Athletics players that were good for you last season are no longer on the team. But your best player, Sean Manea, 83 overall. Frankie Montes, 83. Sean Murphy, 83. Ramon Laureano going to be an 80 overall. Seth Brown, 79. And Tony Kemp, 76. As we move on to the Mariners, very excited to watch them this year, too. They made a lot of pickups. Robbie Ray. AL Cy Young reigning defending AL Cy Young 87 overall Jesse Winker newly acquired from the Reds 83 overall Diego Castillo Adam Frazier Hanniger and Dylan Moore all 81s Logan Gilbert Tom Murphy Paul Seawald and Eugenio Suarez all going to be 80s for the Mariners so they're going to be an exciting team to watch in the AL West then we have the Texas Rangers they picked up two big free agents in free agency Marcus Samian and Corey Seager only 80 overall for Seager though 97 for Samian definitely the top second baseman in the game Mitch Garver 85 overall Adolos Garcia 81 overall John Gray 77 Dane Dunning 77 let me know if I mispronounced that in the comments John King 76 overall so a decent team here for the Rangers we'll see if they can make some noise in the AL West as we move on to the National League Acuna 99 overall for the reigning defending World Series champion Atlanta Braves Ozzie Albies 91 Matt Olson can replace Freddie Freeman I'm not sure if he's going to be as good but he's definitely going to be a very good player 90 overall Charlie Morgan 87 overall Max Freed 86 Kirby Yates 87 86 McHugh, Kenley Jansen, Manny Pina, Austin Riley, he should be higher than 83, Mike Soroka, Tyler Matzek, and Darren O'Day, 82 pluses, ton of 80 overall pluses on the Atlanta Braves, Ian Anderson, Duvall, Will Smith, and Travis Darno, 81. I think the Braves have a really good chance to repeat, and I think they're going to be seeing the Dodgers and Freddie Freeman in the playoffs, no doubt about it in my mind. Then for the Miami Marlins, we have Sandy Alcantara, Jazz Chisholm, Abasel Garcia, Trevor Rogers, Jacob Stollings, 84 overalls, Pablo Lopez going to be an 82. Jesus Aguilar going to be an 81 and then we have newly acquired Jorge Soler 79 I like the pickups though that the Marlins made Abasel Garcia Jorge Soler pretty solid pickups with the DH now being in the National League as well for the Mets it is unfortunate I thought they were going to have a great season and they still could have a great season but without the Grom it's really going to hurt we could have saw the Grom and Scherzer together but the Grom is going to be injured for a while so we're not going to see that at the beginning of the year Starling Marte was picked up though Alonzo's an 84 Lindor I think is going to be better this season if he plays like he did in the second half of last season in all year he's going to be a great shortstop in the league then we have Chris Bassett 83 newly acquired Eduardo Escobar who they picked up Edwin Diaz Marcana they picked up they have so many Oakland Athletics on their team I didn't even realize that Brandon Nimmo and Taiwan Walker for the Phillies this team is loaded on offense defense may be a different story Bryce Harper 95 Zach Wheeler 92 JT Riamuto 90 Aaron Nola 88 Gene Segura 88 Nick Castellanos and Ranger Suarez are going to be 87s Schwarber is going to be an 84 Kyle Gibson Reese Hoskins and Corey 
Neville are going to be 80s for the Philadelphia Phillies. Then we have the Washington Nationals, and it's really the Juan Soto show. Other than that, not much really going on for Washington Nationals and Washington Nationals fans. But you guys won a World Series in the last few years, so I guess you can't be too mad about that. But Juan, only a 91 overall. Definitely expect him to go up by the end of the year. Strasburg still there, though. 87 overall. Nelson Cruz at an 81. Cesar Hernandez at an 81. And Josh Bell at a 78. Eight. Chicago Cubs, not the best roster in the world. Wilson Contreras, Nico Herner, Jan Gomes, Marcus Stroman, Patrick Wisdom, Kyle Hendricks, Nick Madrigal. And I know Seiya Suzuki is not in here yet. Once he plays a game, though, in the MLB, he will be in this game. I think he just has to play one regular season MLB game to get in. The Reds lost a lot of their great players, too, kind of like the Athletics, but Joey Votto is still here. Jonathan India is here. Tyler Mall or Molly, not sure how to pronounce his name. Let me know in the comments down below. 82 overall. Luis Castillo, 80. Tommy Pham, 79. Tyler Stevenson, 79 and Mike Miner 78. Milwaukee Brewers probably going to win the NL Central. I would imagine Corbin Burns and Brandon Woodruff, two NL Cy Young candidates. 94 overall for Burns, 92 for Woodruff. Freddie Peralta is really good too. So they have three elite starting pitchers. 89 overall, Devin Williams coming out of the bullpen, 87. Josh Hader's really good, 85. Christian Yelich, 85. Renfro, 84. Colton Wong, 83. And McCutcheon at an 80. The Pirates, not looking too good for this season. Perez, 84. Brian Reynolds, hopefully they don't trade him. He's one of their bright spots on the team. 84 overall. Overall, Cabrian Hayes, 81. David Bednar, 79. Zach Thompson, 79. I guess we'll see if the Pirates surprise anybody in the MLB, but I would probably say this is not their year. For the Cardinals, we have Arenado, 95 overall. Tyler O'Neill at a 90. Tommy Edmond at an 89. Galagos, I always mispronounce his name wrong, so I'm not even going to get into that. 89 overall. Paul Goldschmidt, 89. Jack Flaherty, 87. The Cardinals have a really good roster, too. It's going to be them or the Brewers for the NL Central. Adam Wainwright, 86. Yadier Molina, 85 at 39 years of age. Harrison Bader, 27 years of age at an 84 overall. And Miles McCollis is going to be an 81 overall for the St. Louis Cardinals. Final division, NL West. And we have the Diamondbacks. And they have Cattell Marte. Other than that, nothing really that good. Zach Gallen, 82 overall. Carson Kelly, 81. Madison Bumgarner, 80. Oliver Perez, 80. Nick Ahmed, 77. Merrill Kelly, Mark Melicone and Josh Rojas are all going to be 77s for the Diamondbacks. Colorado Rockies are a little confusing. They didn't resign Story, and they traded Arenado a couple years ago, but now they picked up Chris Bryant to a huge contract. Very interesting. 85 overall. Ryan McMahon, 84. CJ Crone, Garrett Hampson, Yaman Marquez, 81 overall. At least the Rockies are trying to spend some money and get some decent players onto the team. They're just confusing on how they go about it, in my opinion. Then we have the Dodgers, and I think this team is by far the favorite to win the World Series this year. Trey Turner, Freddie Freeman, Clayton Kershaw, Mookie Betts, Walker Bueller, Max Muncy, Will Smith, Julio Urias are all 90 plus overalls. That is insane. And they also have Chris Taylor, Blake Trinan, Justin Turner, Cody Bellinger, Tony Gunn and Danny Duffy and Craig Kimbrell. This team is absolutely stacked. They are definitely the favorite to win the World Series this year. Now we have the Padres and Tatis is going to be out for a while. I think he broke his wrist. I think that's the injury that he got riding a motorcycle or something like that. So he's not going to be playing for the first few months. So that is definitely going to hurt the Padres chances at making the playoffs. Out of 94 overall though, Tatis and Manny Machado, both 94 overalls. They have Jake Cronenworth, 88 overall. Mike Clevenger, 85. Hugh Darvish, 85. Joe Musgrove, 84. Blake Snell, 84. Grisham, Pomeranz, and Luke Voigt, 80 pluses. If Tatis was playing, they would definitely have a chance at the playoffs and they still could possibly make it when Tatis comes back it's a long season but that definitely hurts and we have the San Francisco Giants with Rodon at a 90 overall Logan Webb 87 Tyler Rogers 84 Brandon Belt 83 Brandon Crawford 82 Longoria and Alex Wood at an 81 overall no more Buster Posey he retired so that's gonna do it for all the rosters all right everyone that's gonna do it for the video every single MLB roster in MLB the show 22 if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe if you're new I would greatly appreciate it but I'll talk to you all in the next video video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.